when I had the time to get it. Always was there, you know, if they wanted to travel to come see me play, even though they was pregnant back home, you know, even if we wasn't even, you know, doing good, I always try to keep a great relationship, even though we, we might have not been together. Um, it's very tough, you know, you know, trying to play football and trying to manage your kids at the same time, because uh, in my profession, you know, it's a cutthroat business. Um, it's either do or die, basically. You either perform or, you, or you, you're out. Most people in my uh, profession usually only last one to two years. I'm very fortunate to go on my eighth year. So, and, uh, how I manage, you know, to take care of my kids is just who I am, because I didn't have a father growing up. I had a father figure in my stepdad, but you know, with him, you know, running the streets, doing drugs and stuff, it was kind of hard to look at him as a role model. So the things I did take from him is uh, how he um, basically led me to love the team that I actually went to college and played for, was the um, University of Florida State University. Um, I got there through hard work and determination, and, um, and that's basically what it was. Just I stayed focused in school. I was good in football, but coming from a small town where people, you know, get sidetracked and uh, you know with drugs or you know other things, I kind of um, stayed focused and just played football and, and fished all my life. That's another thing I do. I still do to this day. I fish my heart out. I mean, I fish the oceans and I fish the rivers and the lakes. So, but uh, to get back to the kids, um, how I take care of my kids is, you know, I, I treat them with a lot of love. Every, I, every chance I get, I travel to go see them. Um, every chance I get, I, I ask the mother, I beg the mothers to bring them to me so I can spend more time with them. Um, my daughters love me, um, especially my six-year-old. Me and her, we go fishing. I take her every chance I get. I take her fishing. I try to, you know, keep her busy. You know, show her that I love her. I call her almost every every day or every other day. Um, I check up on her grades. Um, I make sure, you know, she's supported in every aspect that she needs to be and um, supported in. So, my two-year-old, um, I go see them a lot. My two, I got a two-year-old and a, a one-month. No, no, four months, sorry, I'm getting confused. <laughs> I, they live in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I fly down there probably more than I go see my six year old. My six year old, my six -year -old now gets to come back and forth to me, and I get to go to her. And um, we do a lot of great things together. But as I, as I know today, that you know, it's very important for our men to step up and to start helping these women out so that they don't have to do it by themselves. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that need to be sitting in this room today um, so that they, you know, they can listen and hopefully get something out of it of what I'm trying to um, speak to y'all today. Um, hopefully they see this video um, at some point and um, hopefully I can touch someone or touch some mother and let the women know that they are still good men out there. They take care of the kids.